to this week's episode of Izzy Wizzy Kids Play TV, episode number 10, otherwise known as the interactive internet TV show where together we're changing the world of toys and play. And we do this by bringing you a brand new video every single Friday and we take our play back to basics. Now I am your host today, Al Boxel Gordon, and I've got some really exciting and fun things in store for you this bonfire weekend. We've got a simple and fun activity for you for the weekend for bonfire night and that's to make some traditional Yorkshire parking. Um, we've got some great competitions and offers for you this week. Um, we've got um, teamed up with Lush and we're bringing you this uh, gingerbread house giveaway. We have um, teamed up with special letters from Santa and we are bringing you an exclusive 15% discount um, on your orders over the next couple of weeks from special letters. And we are... Uh, we have teamed up with the, uh, the great little trading company who are bringing um, Easy Wizzy Kids Play TV viewers an exclusive 15% discount in the run up to Christmas. So I'll be excited to tell you a little bit more about that later on in the show. Um, but we'll also be reviewing some uh, gifts in the run up to Christmas. Uh, we're going to be looking at some gifts from Lush, um, but also we're going to be looking at this uh, really scary and terrifying dinosaur. Rah. First of all though, we're going to be making some Yorkshire parking. For this week's activity then, we're going to be making this classic bonfire night tradition in Yorkshire, at Yorkshire parking, and the um, recipe has been brought to you especially by my uh, grandmother-in-law who was born and brought up in the heart of South Yorkshire. So to make Yorkshire parking then, you need eight ounces or 200 grams of self-raising flour, four ounces or 100 grams of medium oatmeal, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, two and a half level teaspoons of ground ginger, and then you need some wet ingredients, which are four ounces or 100 grams of margarine, two tablespoons of golden syrup, four ounces or 100 grams of demerara sugar, and then you need three quarters of a pint of warm water, warm milk, sorry, with a little bit of water in there to mix in. In the bowl, we need your self raising yeah. flour and you mix into that all the dry ingredients. So you put in your oatmeal, mm -hmm. and Lily's going to mix it all up for us. Your ground ginger and your bicarbonate of soda and you mix up that all together in the bowl. Our next job then is to get the golden syrup, the margarine and the sugar and put all that into the bowl together and mix it all together and cream it up so it's nice and fluffy. So do you want to put the ingredients in? No, you can put them in and I can mix them right, up. Right, oh that's good. We can share our jobs out, can't we? Yeah. Can you get that margarine off? That's it. Did I help you? You did, didn't you? Yeah. You both had a job. Yeah. Now you mix all that together. It's all sticky, isn't it? Yes. You might need your grown-up helper to help with this bit, mightn't you? Yes. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. You might just need to help just a little bit to give it a quick cream at the end, mate. As light as you can. You alternate mixing in the dry ingredients and the milk and water with the with the wet ingredients okay so if I pour a little bit in can you mix it together that makes it no sticky at all yeah and, and then as you as it gets thicker it probably get harder to stir won't it you just keep stirring as you put the milk in that makes it easy again Look at the milk. Yeah. Is that making it go higher? Well, it's very sloppy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you pour the mixture then into a greased loaf tin. There we go, it's a bit sloppy, isn't it? Yeah. 
So you cook the parking in the oven then between 45 minutes and an hour at around 160 degrees in a preheated oven. So when you've cooked your ginger parking then, just turn it out onto a wire tray and leave it to cool until it's ready to eat. So moving on then to some ideas for Christmas then. Um, Lush has sent in these um, three um, products here to try out with Easy Wizzy Kids. We've got this Sweetie Pie Jelly um, Body Wash and Bath Wash, which is uh, <laughs> really good fun uh, for the kids in the bath. Uh, they absolutely love scooping it up in their hands. Um, and then they could just apply it themselves independently onto their hair and body to give themselves a good uh, a good scrub. So that just smells lovely, and that's just a really nice uh, little gift if you just want something small and um, for perhaps a child at, at Christmas. Um, you've got um, the the little baby bot, um, which was uh, makes your skin really soft and makes the uh, bath water smell nice. And you've got this. Um, gorgeous cream candy bath which went down especially well with the girls with this little sweetie um, but that created bubbles in the bath and then they could squidge it in their hands and get a real feel for the textures and that and they absolutely loved the smells and, it, and it, again it made the skin smell really nice and it was really soft so all these lash products are suitable from six months so you know they're, they're great little, uh, little gift ideas you just want something small to buy and um, perhaps as a little stocking filler or uh, if you've just got something little to buy for a friend and um, we're giving away this week we've teamed up with Lush they've uh, given us this uh, lovely gingerbread house and if you look in here you've got some lovely bath bombs and stuff bath bombs bubble bath bars uh, and you can use that as a biscuit tin when it's finished and to win this all you need to do is to answer the question um, what was the occupation of Hansel and Gretel's dad and if you go to izzywizzykids.co.uk forward slash lush and then you can enter that competition and the entry close for that on the uh, 30th of November. Moving on then to um, to this clicks toy now I'm not normally one to rave about plastic toys um, but when I got sent this to review, um, I thought my initial thought was, well, why have I been sent this? It's you know, it's plastic. Um, these basically come in little parts, little sections. Um, it reminds me a bit of Lego in a way, and they they click together. And um, as I saw the kids playing with it, it was actually quite quite brilliant. And um, the the plastics made well, why I thought I'd review it because the plastic looks like it's a really high quality and like it will. Um, last for, for a lot of years and the kids have just played and played and played with this and um, my little girl and little boy they've made um, dinosaurs, vehicles, um, they've made handbags, they've made shoes uh, and then I realised that it's such a diverse toy um, and it's also manufactured in Belgium so I thought well you know it's not got the environment, environmental impact um, of being imported uh, so there is you know it's got some good good points but it's actually really good. You could see the learning happening as, as um, especially my six-year-old was sat doing it. He sat down, he was counting all the pieces, he was matching up the colours, he was following instructions, and um, he could follow the instructions far better than I could. And I just thought, yeah, you know, you could just see him playing for hours and they were playing together. And when kids play together, that's something that I just think is um, an absolute gem. So, um, so I thought, thumbs up for clicks. Um, it comes in a range of different styles. You've got the uh, the dinosaur range, and you can make four different dinosaurs out of this. And um, it comes in a vehicles range, where you can make um, I think about four or five different vehicles. But there's also pink ones, so you can make uh, girly things out of it. And um, it just comes in loads of different um, loads of different types. That I've, I've put details of that below on the web page. Um, and I just think. What a, what a great um, little product and it's so good because on top of these that you can make it then you can put all into a box and then you can make things to your, your imagination's content. So, so that's clicks. So what do you like about clicks Lily? What do you like about that toy? Uh, fit, uh, you know what bit I like the best? What? Fixing these together. And what have you made with it? 
Now Christmas still seems a way off, but one of the deadlines that always catches me out without fail is getting um, a letter back from Santa in time. And I thought this week would be a good prompt uh, to get your kids to write to Santa to tell them about how good they've been and uh, what they would like on their Christmas list. And just to mention that there's a few different sites where you can get Santa's letters, um, including the NSPCC, I noticed that they do one um, for free on there, and also um, I think Royal Mail, although I haven't checked this year that they're doing it. Um, but we've had these uh, lovely examples in from uh, special letters, and special letters take letters from Santa that little bit further if you want something that little bit special, as it says on the tin. Um, you basically get um, a ribbon um, um, embossed and wax sealed um, envelope with a lovely letter inside or you've got the option of different different types of um, envelopes but all with a, a beautiful wax seal and ribbon and um, you get this lovely letter every year and if you use the service every year Sharon from Special Letters make sure that you get a very personal service that includes very personal information and that you get a different letter every year um, and Sharon also gives away these little fairy dust pouches uh, with glitter in and um, with each of these um, special letters um, on top of that, uh, they, she also does other packages where you can upgrade and make them really special. And she sends out little chocolates and special like little glitter things that fall out as you open them. Um, there's little stocking inside and you can buy extra little gifts and trinkets to go in with it. So there's lots of different ideas there if you want to, depending on how far you want to take it and how special you want your, your Santa's letters to be. Um, but Sharon has offered to give um, a 15% discount to uh, Izzy Wizzy Kids Play TV viewers um, if you visit um, www.specialletters.co.uk forward slash Izzy Wizzy and that will deduct 15% from your order. So before I wrap up the show this week then, I've got an announcement to make for you. Um, Izzy Wizzy Kids Play TV has teamed up with a great little trading company who are offering you exclusively as an Izzy Wizzy Kids Play TV viewer a 15% discount on all orders over £30 um, placed before the 15th of December. So if you're looking for some inspiring uh, gift ideas this Christmas, you'll find lots of really exciting ideas um, at the Great Little Trading Company. Um, go to www.gltc and uh, when you place your order, put the code IZZY at the checkout and that will uh, redeem you a 15% discount on your order. So I hope you have a great bonfire weekend and do play safely around all those sparklers and bonfires. Um, I hope you have lots of fun making your parking and uh, I'll be here again same time, same place next Friday for another exciting episode of Izzy Wizzy Kids Play TV. I'm Al Boxall Gordon and together we're changing the world of toys and play. Izzy Wizzy Kids Play!